Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the Vote of the People, November 4th, 2008. <laughs> Said she'd be real quick, it'll be her last go around. She could leave with the dust, disappear from this one story town. She been so scared of her mother, her father's gone with the wind. She just stares out the window. Greg Salisker, um, guitar player, lead singer, harmonica player. Songwriter. Songwriter. My name's Larry Lasky, guitar player, lead guitar. And we got Bobby Campbell on drums, percussion. Marcus Ali, extremely talented keyboardist and vocalist. And Kevin Larson on bass and sometimes background vocals. The Mighty, Tra Mighty Trains Band. There you go. It's my roadie outfit and it's doing fine. So, Bobby's brother, Clyde, he works for us, and I, I uh, contacted him and said, hey, I just want to get some songs recorded and writing songs forever. And, and he didn't really want to tell me about Larry because he didn't want me to, <coughs> to throw Larry under the bus or whatever. He said, I'll, I'll contact a guy and uh, maybe get a hold of you. 
All right, so he contacted me. I sent, I think I sent Bobby some songs and Larry some songs. And I went over to Larry's house and played a couple and just decided to give her a try. The three of us, uh, me yeah. being a guitar player and, the, and Bob the drummer and Kev bass player, we were playing three piece stuff. And we were just learning 60s stuff and just blasting that stuff out for the fun of it. Just to keep our chops up and getting, getting a few yucks out of it. And Marcus and Greg were playing together for a couple years writing songs and working things out. And it was really kind of cool because we had been doing some original stuff with the three of us, me and Bob and Kevin. And then all of a sudden here's Marcus and Greg. They come along and Greg's songs are basically what we've been writing. And he's using all the really cool chords that we liked. And Three. so all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like, yeah, this will work because we've tried other guys and worked with other guys, and it just didn't seem to click. And then all of a sudden, this just seemed to click naturally. It was really fun. Yeah. It was cool. Fun from the start.
the lyrics that uh, Greg is coming up with are really intriguing because they're funny. And they have a sense of humor, and it's, a lot of it's tongue-in-cheek, and a lot of it's just point-blank. This is the way it is, you know. I mean, it's, that's the way it is for you, that's the way it is for me, and the camera guy, and all three of these. You, you feel a little bit of all of us in the, in the type of songs that uh, he maneuvers around. <laughs> <laughs> Time bomb is about a guy coming home, putting his watch in the fridge and uh, what in the sink? So, watch in the sink. Billfold in the sink is watching. Yeah. Arca watch. Stayed out all Bill night. What's she going to think? Time bomb. Eventually she leaves him. Sleeping in the chair. Yeah. He wrote these songs, and, and what it's like is for him is to take them, twist them in many different ways, and send us phone files of the samples of the songs. And all of a sudden, when it's like good enough, and Marcus hears them, and we, we get them all, all of us get them, and we go, okay, yeah, we like this one, you know? So the process comes from just hearing it in your head and, and trying to translate it into something that makes sense in a musical format. Am I not right? Or? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's a hoot. I mean, I just put them on, put them on the phone, send it to these guys, and, and if it, you know, sounds like something we can, you know, they all kind of know the song when we come in, so then when we come in, it, it's kind of one, two, three, let's go. I'm gonna build me a house on a little piece of land Find myself a girl who will understand Got a Bible in the left, a devil in the right Neon lights 
and my buddies inside Gonna show them how to live tonight I'm gonna build me a house On a little piece of land Got a million dollars in my pocket, girl You wanna join my plan Buy around for all my boys, bartender. We know how to do this right. I'm gonna build me a house after I make it through another night. I may have been the altar boy back in the days of school. I could have. Just too cool I'm gonna build me a house On a little piece of land Someday I'll be the one to know Good spot for your boys, dear Stan Stay with his good friend, running 
with her mind for the last time the cops are closing in she gave them the sign hotel room in indiana where she leave it all behind bought a ticket for the train to take her back to the land of the lakes and When we got together, it, it really just clicked, and you could tell these guys have you know, been around the block before. They, my gosh, you guys have been playing for years and years. So it, it uh, very fortunate in that way where we didn't have to like start from scratch or, you know, it was just, we just hit the ground running. I, I, I played a lot, a long time with Kevin Larson and Bob Campbell, and, and the three of us have played in a lot of bands over the years, cover bands and we got to know each other as players really well and so that really pays off for something like this where you go into a room and you say okay we got a phone file here now let's make it a band song you know and these guys are experienced from their past due with the duck tones and and uh just Bugs. yeah just just extensive background and and it just all shows when you're creating a song and it's coming from just a guitar and a voice to make it feel like it's everybody's song, you know. And it's a good feeling to do that. And the experience that you mention is really important. It's necessary. There's no jitterbugs about it. It's not like, that's one great song. Now, now oh, excuse me, I got to run off to St. Cloud for four weeks and play with another band or something. And I'll call you guys in six weeks, you know, or whatever. I mean, it's concentrated, it's focused, and, and we, we really appreciate that because we are experienced in knowing what we want to do, you know. So, it's important. Easy. 
Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people, November 4th, 2008.